And here to help us explain this procedure is Dr. James Harris, a hair restoration surgeon in our procedure room with Dr. Orden. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I Welcome. appreciate it. So talk to us about the Artis machine. So here we have the Artis system. It's a, it's a robotic system. And um, what it allows us to do is use its advanced imaging and mapping systems to extract hair follicles. So what I'm going to do now, uh, this represents the head of a patient in the normal position. He's very comfortable in this headrest here. We've numbed up with local anesthetic around the back of the head. So this patient will not feel any pain or discomfort the entire procedure. Now I'm gonna tell the robot to use its systems to go ahead and start mapping out the individual hair follicles within, within this area we call the grid. So it's automatically moving. I'm not touching anything right now. And it's assessing the angles and directions of all the hair follicles in the target region. Now it's already in position. I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and start harvesting so, hair. So this is an example of what the robot does in an actual surgery. Now we're not removing anything right now, but it's, it's based on our direction it's targeting certain follicles and taking out a certain percentage of hair follicles to leave some behind. It's random, so we're not going to get any weird patterns of, of extractions. And it's selecting these based on the quality of the hair. We can also tell it we want three hair grafts or two hair grafts. I would think this is going to be much quicker than the old-fashioned techniques, isn't it? When it's going through this process, it's actually doing about 1,000 grafts an hour, which is wow. very, very fast. That's, that's moving. It is moving very quickly. It's an amazing technology. I think, you know, the main advantage for the patients are that it's, it's minimally invasive. Uh, it, it doesn't leave that long line scar at the back so they can wear their hair short if they want to. There's more rapid healing. They can get back to activities much, much more quickly. Well, Drew, I want to know, can you use this technique on women as well? We saw it on men, um, but is this approved for women as well? It does not have clearance for women yet, but we're working on it. So right now it's male pattern baldness. Male pattern baldness. That's and correct. we actually do have one of your patients, Jimmy, on the phone with us. Jimmy, you're pretty doggone happy with your results? Uh, absolutely. I couldn't be happier. It's been 10 months since I had the procedure done, but I started noticing things uh, about four months afterwards. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a, a phase system where you actually uh, see the hairs come in. Right after the surgery, uh, then they fall out, and then they start growing back. But I did notice uh, significant or at least noticeable uh, new hairs on my head after about four or five months. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy. And Dr. Harris, before we go, how many hairs were transplanted in a case like Jimmy's? So he had approximately 4,000 hairs transplanted. Wow. And that's going to grow fuller and fuller over time. Wow. Dr. Harris, thank you so very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.